Hi folks, hope you're okay. We're looking at uh, Massive Tomb, A History of Christianity by uh, McCulloch, Dr. McCulloch. And we're looking at page 161, and we're looking at Martyrdom, and published by Penguin. A very, very weighty tomb, and uh, very interesting reading. Don't agree with the guy, but there we are. He writes, uh, page 161, the attractive feature of a martyr's death was that it was open to anyone regardless of social status or talent. Women were martyred alongside men, slaves alongside free persons. The necessary ability was to die bravely and with dignity, turning the agony and humiliation into shame and instruction for the spectators. Martyrs' bones were treasured and their burial places became the first Christian shrines. I take exception to that statement. I think that statement that he makes there is very offensive, really. Um, if anyone just takes the trouble to read Fox's Book of Martyrs, uh, just have a, a, a browse and a read of the first two chapters, and then compare it to the way he's written about the martyrs here, and I'm sure you'll be supreme, supremely offended by this comment. Having studied uh, the martyrs myself in depth recently, um, I can only say that you would have to be a fool to think that the martyrs uh, were out to be martyrs. They were not. It was not something that everybody wanted to do and be a badge of honour. Martyrdom was something that came to people unsolicited. That when Irenaeus went to Rome uh, with a letter because he was a teacher from Lyons um, and as he was going to Rome there was a massacre back in Gaul of Christians thrown on hot iron chairs set a fire burned to a cinder then pulled off the chair and thrown to the dogs to be eaten a little boy of 15 taken to see people martyred and then told that he should renounce his faith and then he was martyred my friends if you only understood just a one percent of the suffering that these people went through you would understand that this is quite offensive that dr mcculloch has said martyrdom was not something that christians were seeking in that first second and third century they were not seeking martyrdom. Martyrdom came to them. They didn't want it. But it was because of the resilience of their faith and belief in an eternity with Christ that and the grace and the power of God that they had in that trial, in those trials, is what gave them the strength to go on. So I would encourage you to read about the martyrs of the second century because they have encouraged me no end in my faith recently. I have been so blessed by reading the martyrs, and I've read, I've written, uh, sorry, I've done a number of videos on the martyrs. So just type in Jason Burns martyrs, and you should find a number of videos. So I'm not particularly impressed by Dr. McCulloch on his comments about martyrship. There, thank you.